How did I completely transform my body by going from fat and out of shape to completely shredded and muscular in just a very short amount of time? And can you achieve the same results too? Well, yes, you can. And in today's video, I'm going to run down my exact training plan, my exact nutrition plan, the steps and cardio protocol that I followed in order to achieve a life-changing transformation. Let's get straight into it. So first of all, I just want a little disclaimer that this is not a normal transformation and it is not easy to achieve. However, if you follow the exact steps that I lay out in this video, I guarantee the results you will get will be phenomenal. Now let's get into the part of the process that is probably the most important and that is our nutrition. If you're going to achieve such a crazy transformation with your body, you cannot overlook the foods you are eating or underlook the amount of calories that you are eating too. To achieve this process, food had to be completely on point for an extended period of time. And no, I'm not going to sit here and say you can eat a lot of junk food. You can have takeaways, meals, out all this sort of stuff and still achieve an incredible transformation. This is going to take some dedication. There's nothing worse than when somebody tells you you can achieve something absolutely insane in a short amount of time and it'd be really easy. Unfortunately, anything that is worth having in life is not easy. So be willing to put in the work and you will reap the reward. So when it came to my nutrition, I had to completely look at the foods I was eating and be totally honest in the changes that I needed to make. So firstly, I had to get into a fat loss diet and get rid of the unwanted fat and start to rebuild my physique. So in order to do this, I was tracking my food day in, day out using my fitness pal, and I had a pretty good idea of the amount of food that was maintaining my body weight. And I was eating around three and a half thousand, maybe four thousand calories on some days, and maintaining this body weight. So what I decided to do is start with a deficit of around 750 calories, and I started my diet at 2,750. And what this allowed me to do is get a really good head start, not be too hungry, as you know, anything over 2,500 calories, I would say is enough to still feel full as long as you're eating nutrient-dense foods. And straight away, I got on the board a fat loss and I was losing upwards of two pounds per week. And this was a big enough drop in weight for me to realize that, you know, I'm on the right path and I'm going to make some really good progress in my first few weeks. So anytime it comes to your diet, what you're going to realize is that making adjustments when you plateau is actually more important than where you start. A lot of people might start too low calorie, they might start too high calorie, but understanding this information and keeping track of your body weight is what's most important. Because if you do start in a deficit, deficit of let's say 500 calories and in week one you actually don't drop weight and let's say in week two you still don't drop weight then if you're not making an adjustment then you're just wasting your time the best way to get long-term results with your body is having the ability and knowledge of making adjustments when they are absolutely needed if you're always on the fence of wanting to eat more food do less cardio do less steps and you're not willing to make them changes and sacrifices to the numbers then you will never get the result that you want so for me on this 2750 calorie diet I want to stay relatively full. So of course, I'm going to eat highly nutritious foods that are satiated. So here's how my diet looked throughout this process, or at least initially. Meal one, a breakfast, I would eat three eggs, two slices of toast with mushrooms. I don't personally count calories from vegetables unless they are root veg, like sweet potato, potato, or carrot. For my second meal of the day, I made a high protein shake. In this shake, I had two scoops of whey protein, then I had milk on top of that, with a little bit of peanut butter and a banana mixed in there too. What I find is is that these are very nutrient dense foods and along with the peanut butter was very good at satiating me and keeping me nice and full until that lunchtime meal came along. I highly recommend you do a shake like this if you're somebody who is very busy and doesn't want to cook all day. I think that's very important and I think if you do have to cook it is very easy to think ah screw it and you end up getting something quick high calorie and not very nutrient dense. For my lunch I was having a homemade soup. Now you might be thinking Connor why are you eating soup really low in protein but the reason is it gets your vegetables in for the day and I'm a true believer that you should be still getting your five a day. I know it's an arbitrary number but getting more veg will do you a lot of good, keep you fuller and keep you healthy. So this soup contained different stuff. It could have sweet potato, courgette, ginger and other vegetables and spices and it was very good at keeping me full but on top of that in order to top up the protein I would do shredded chicken on top or mixed in with the soup and alongside it for a little bit of carbohydrates I would actually have a little bit of tiger bread. You might be saying Connor bread two times a day on a fat loss diet. Trust me it's absolutely okay okay as long as your diet overall is very all-rounded. For meal four, I would do another shake identical to the first one. When I actually make that shake, I make two. I split them, put one in the fridge for later in the day. And then for my last meal of the day, this is where I had some variety depending on what we wanted for our evening meal. And this could be an array of different things. One of the things that we like to eat is something like a Thai green curry, homemade, or barbecue chicken with rice. It could be an assault. As you can see, with this diet, it's very all-rounded. There's plenty of different nutrients 
fruits in there and different food sources from eggs, bread, rice, tons of vegetables, fruit, whey protein, chicken, you name it. And following something like this is something that I find works extremely well, not just for me, but for my clients too. So I'd recommend you give this style of eating a go. Now, like I said before, the key to your nutrition is eating nutrient dense foods, but making adjustments when needed. So when my fat loss did hit an inevitable plateau, I just brought the amount of food that I was eating down. So if I was eating 100 gram of rice in meal five, I would bring that down to 75 grams. And that would be one adjustment. Make sure that you, when you are making these adjustments, you're not being overly aggressive and you're making them small, little changes that allow you to still feel good, but still get results. So if there's one bit of advice you take away from this video, it's find a very good starting point, eat highly nutritious food and make small adjustments when needed. I guarantee if you do this, you will not go wrong. Now let's talk about our training. When it comes to your weight training, it's gonna be very specific what you want to do. I think it depends on your schedule and the amount of days you have available to train. But for me, during this transformation, I made sure that I trained five days per week and absolutely no more and no less. I found that two days per week in order to rest was the main thing that I needed to perform consistently throughout the week. Many people try and train six, seven days. I'm telling you, that's a recipe for burning out and getting no results. And this isn't to say that doing less free four days of training won't work. You can still design a great training plan with them amount of days and it worked beautifully. But for me, five days was perfect. So here's exactly how I set it up. On a Monday, I would train my upper body in whole. So that of course would mean training the chest, shoulders, back, biceps, and triceps all in one. On Tuesday, I would train my legs with the emphasis being the majority of quads within this training session. On a Wednesday, I would take a complete rest day. I might still complete some cardio and go on a walk, etc. but I'm going to get that way in the video. And then on Thursday, I would train push, that being chest, shoulders, and triceps. On a Friday, I would train pull, so that being back and biceps. And then on Saturday, I would train legs again. This time, more emphasis being into hamstrings over quads. That leaves me to Sunday, where I take a complete rest day from everything, including cardio, and give myself time to repair. So rather than sit here for the next five, 10 minutes and take up your time of talking about the exact exercises, the exact rep schemes and sets that I did for this training plan, I've decided to just give it to you for free so that you can read it, see it for yourself and follow along. So if you look in the description below, I've put a link for a simple download to this program. All you need to do is put your email in. As soon as you do that, it will give you the link to the training. The structure of it is absolutely perfect. I've been doing this for 10 years now, coaching people and creating training plans. So trust me when I say this training plan is absolutely solid and I recommend you try it out yourself. But one thing I do think is really important to talk about in order to get in a transformation like this and developing a large amount of muscle mass is understanding the intensity that you need to train at. How many times do you look at people in the gym who look the same year after year? Keep a close eye on who they are training. I guarantee they're not training very hard. They're doing the same stuff week in, week out, lifting the same weight, doing the same amount of reps. It just doesn't work. So when it comes to your training and actually building muscle mass, you have to be pushing your body to the absolute max that you can. Don't sacrifice form in order to hit this failure point, but what you need to do is push yourself to as far as you can handle. If you are constantly trying to beat each set by one rep or one kilo, and you do this for an extended period of time, I guarantee your body has no choice but to grow and change. Doing this will allow you to build a greater physique and look better than you ever have. So make sure that when you're in the gym, you are working your absolute butt off and utilizing the amount of time that you do have. So that leaves us with cardio and steps. This is something I truly believe that you need to pay close attention to and be very accurate with every single day. So that one day you're not doing loads of output and then another day not doing a lot because you need consistency when it comes to transforming your body. You need answers, you need understanding. So when it comes to making these adjustments when you plateau, you have all the information in front of you. So for me, when I was doing my cardio, I kept it simple and I wasn't actually doing a lot. I was doing two sessions per week of a moderate intensity on the bike or cross trainer for 30 minutes at a time. I was working hard during these sessions, but I was working around 140 to 150 beats per minute on my heart rate and absolutely no more. For my steps, I built these up to around 10 to 11,000 per day. I found that this was just enough to see consistent results with my fat loss. I did have some days where I went above that and hit around 15, 16,000. But what I found is, is that for a day or two afterwards, my appetite was absolutely insane and I just couldn't satiate myself. So that told me that if I do too many steps, it actually makes the diet worse. As at the end of the day, we've only got so much willpower and if you burn extra calories from extra steps, you are in danger of eating them calories back. And that is absolutely not the goal. So when you are creating your own cardio or step plan, make sure that it works for you, that it doesn't beat you into the ground and that you can get consistent results with. There's no point in doing two hours of cardio per day if it leaves you feeling run down, absolutely shitty, absolutely starving and makes you fall off your diet every day. So some of the questions I get asked the most about my transformation is, is it possible 
possible for me to achieve or for you? And absolutely, yes. I'm a true believer and as somebody who's coached people for the last decade, that if you work hard enough at something, you find the right plan that suits you, then you're absolutely going to get results. It's just a matter of time. The people who get the best results are the ones who can stick to it the longest. And what I find a lot of the time is that people push too hard, too soon, and then fall off after a few weeks. It's just not worth it. So when you're looking at building your own transformation plan, look at something with longevity. I'd rather it takes six months or even 12 months to completely transform my body rather than fall off every three weeks and see no results after that 12 months. At the end of the day, the 12 months is going to go by. You might as well make it. Another question I get all the time is, if I just follow what you did, Connor, will I get the same result? And the answer is no. However, you can take a lot away from what I did and incorporate it for your own transformation. For example, the free training plan that I've put below will absolutely work. If there's one thing I know you to do, it's write a good training plan. So if you follow that, I guarantee you will build more muscle. When it comes to the nutrition plan, that is something that is ultra specific to me based off my appetite, the foods that I enjoy, the amount of calories that I respond to. But for yourself, if you wanted to follow this, you could simply change the calories, change the amount per portion that you are eating to suit yourself. And within that, if you need to make a few adjustments and you don't like bananas, but you like apples, then do that. If you like white potato over sweet potato, then eat that. It's not rocket science. Figure it out for yourself. I guarantee you'll get there. So guys, there you have it. There is my exact transformation plan and how you can follow along too. And if you like this style of video where I talk about how to get insane results very quickly, then maybe consider subscribing to the channel as I'm always releasing similar videos to this one. If you like the video, maybe consider leaving a like on the video too. But for now, I'll see you all in the next.